Hello there. I'm back again this week. Now a lot of you are thinking, last week's video was incredibly creepy. And it was. A lot of you are thinking I need to get over Maurice and have a real life. I am over Maurice. That was a joke. It was funny. You guys are like, oh man, he's obsessed. He's so creepy. It's hilarious. That was the most entertaining video I ever did. Are you not entertained? My sword is rust on it. So yes, last week's video was a joke. I'm not obsessed with Maurice. She's too damn skinny. I like my women with a little more meat on their bones. And some red hair. But there is a woman I am obsessed with. But that will be revealed later. This week, I would like to talk to you about how wrestling is fake. Yes, wrestling is fake. This video is not for me, really, or for you people who watch it. This video is for all the assholes on YouTube who make a video called Wrestling is Fake and then show how wrestling is fake. People, we all fucking know wrestling is fake. The only people who don't know wrestling is fake are three-year-olds. So if you're 12 and you just found out wrestling is fake, you're a fucking moron. Wrestling is fake. We know. You don't need to post a video saying wrestling is fake. We all know wrestling is fake. We all know Randy Orton does not really pump people in the head. Yeah, sometimes he accidentally connects with them, but it's all camera angles. We all know before somebody gets body slammed, the person jumps. We know that. And we know you might have just found out and you're 38 years old and always thought it was real. Well, you're a fucking loser. We know it's fucking fake. And then for all you assholes who post videos going, wrestling is real. Wrestling is not fucking real. Wrestling is fake. It's scripted. They're stunt workers. It's like saying, this guy really did get shot in this movie. Well, no shit. The only person who actually got shot in a movie was Brandon Lee. Wow, that was like mean, wasn't it? Yeah. I don't care. Fuck off. Yes, wrestling is fake. Now, could they do stuff to make it look less fake, like fire Kofi Kingston? Yeah, because these people fuck up again and again and again and make it look really fake. Train the divas to actually wrestle. Fire Kofi Kingston. Shove a probe up John Cena's ass. That really won't make wrestling look real, but... I just want to see it happen. Where are my fucking cigarettes at? <sighs> so yes, wrestling is fake. <coughs> now I understand if you're, you know, like 10 years old and you just found out wrestling is fake you're a little angry, because you always thought it was real. So you'll stop watching wrestling, and you'll want to ruin everybody else's party. Well, guess what? Everybody already knows wrestling is fake. The only people whose party you're ruining is people who still believe in Santa Claus. And no, Santa Claus is not real. Either is the Easter Bunny. Well, okay, technically Santa Claus is real. But Santa Claus hasn't delivered presents in over 20 years. Yeah, because 20 years ago, Santa got drunk, and Santa went nuts, and Santa blew up his workshop, and killed a bunch of people, and now he's sitting in a federal prison, and he was given the death penalty, but due to appeals, he's still sitting in there. Don't worry, they'll kill Santa soon. If you don't believe me, just look up the Weird Al song, The Night Santa Went Crazy. It's a true story. Santa went crazy 20 years ago and now he's sitting in a federal prison.
So for all you kids out there who watch this and think Santa is real, Santa's not real. Your parents buy and wrap those presents and claim they're from Santa. For all you kids out there who think the Easter Bunny is real, how the fuck does... The bunnies don't lay eggs. They're fucking mammals. If you don't know what a mammal is, look it up. Bunnies don't fucking lay eggs. They have no thumbs, so they can't color eggs. And they sure as hell don't leave eggs places. So the Easter Bunny is not real. The Tooth Fairy is not real. Yeah, I know. The Rock made a movie about the Tooth Fairy. Well, so did fucking Christy Alley, and hers was better. Because Christy Alley is a hundred times hotter than the fucking Rock. Even fat Christy Alley is hotter. I'd still do Christy Alley. She's like 70 years old and fatter than hell, but I'd still fuck her. I'd fuck her just because she's fucking Christy Alley. I also fuck Carrie Fisher. Now, Kermit the Frog is not real either. Kermit the Frog died 10 years ago. His son is now playing the part of Kermit the Frog. But yes, wrestling is fake. Wrestling is not real. Wrestling is scripted. We, everybody knows who's going to win. The matches are planned out and choreographed out, and the people are pretty much glorified stuntmen. So, for all you assholes who post these wrestling is fake videos, stop. We don't fucking care. Wrestling fans know it's fake. But we enjoy watching it, because it still takes great skill to do it. Hell, football's fake, and you still watch that. Oh, whoops, you didn't know football was predetermined? How else do you fucking explain the playoffs the last few years, where fucking rivalry teams have made it just about every round? Football is fake. For all you people posting wrestling as real videos, you're fucking idiots. Wrestling is fake. And that's really all I got to talk about this week, is calling you guys idiots. So, you idiots. I suppose I could talk about something else since we're only seven minutes in. TNA is crap. For those of you who don't know what TNA is, it's a wrestling program on Thursday nights at 9 on Spike TV. This wrestling program has Eric Bischoff, Hulk Hogan, and Ric Flair is the stars of it. Ric Flair is 112. Hulk Hogan is 90. And Bischoff should have retired after WCW. It's also got Mr. Anderson, who I personally always liked. He's a good wrestler. He's good on the mic. He could have been a big star, but he's injured too much. That's what kept him back. We also have Rob Van Dam, who is proving once again that even though you're fat and out of shape, you can still make a shitload of money wrestling. Now, the TNA stars who were there before these assholes shown up are now getting pushed to the bottom. Jay Lethal, one of TNA's most entertaining original stars, has left the company. Kurt Angle, who is pretty much known as the face of TNA, is old. Sting is old. Jeff Jarrett, old. China, has anyone heard anything out of China in 10 years? I mean, I heard of that crappy movie she made with Anna Nicole Smith, but I never watched it. They've also got Mickey James, Victoria, uh, Matt Hardy, Jeff Hardy. They're pretty much the new WWF retirement home. If WCW was WWF's retirement home, then TNA is WWF's new retirement home. And the TNA stars who built the company, like AJ Styles, uh, Jay Lethal, Beer Money, they're getting pushed to the bottom. Well, these WWF rejects are getting pushed to the top. 
So TNA is pretty much WWF's retirement home. Don't watch it. It's crap. It used to be TNA used to be known for having solid ten minute matches, five to ten minute matches from the women, from the men, and they'd have like six of these matches for a two hour show, and then the rest would be talking. I mean, these were good solid wrestling matches that were enjoyable to watch, and they were primarily focused on wrestling over storyline. Now they're focused on storyline. You barely get any wrestling out of the show. The, the wrestlers you do see, you see for, what, three minutes maybe? And then they leave. I mean, it's crap. They've just ruined TNA's good name. So, don't watch TNA. WWF, right now, is pretty much WCW... I'd say either WCW pre-NWO or WCW Vince Russo. It's crap. So don't watch WWF. If you want to watch real wrestling, look up War Wrestling's channel on YouTube. War, like W-A-R, Wrestling, on YouTube. They're an indie promotion out of Lyme, Ohio. I've been to their shows. They have good shows. They have good matches. So check them out if you want to see real professional wrestling. If you want to see WWF, you're a fucking moron. If you want to see TNA, you're a bigger moron. And if you want to see me worship Maurice, you're a fucking idiot. Because Maurice is a bitch. She's too fucking skinny. She's too fucking pretty. She clearly dyes her hair. And she has no talent in the ring. So, until next time, go away.